I have spent far too much time trying to come up with an intro to this video, and frankly, you'd think I'd get the hang of it by now. So, System Shock is a pretty big deal. System Shock 2 often gets all the credit, but without the original, it's difficult to see how many of what are now considered the best games of all time would have come to be. Thief, Deus Ex, Bioshock, Horror Hotel 2, these are all games that were influenced by or even directly created due to what System Shock achieved. But not many people have played it, or at least compared to the other games that I mentioned, and I can absolutely, definitively explain why. It, it's because it looks and sounds like this. <laughs> Just kidding, of course. That's the 2015 Enhanced Edition. So, yeah. System Shock is certainly, let's just call it, unconventional by modern standards. But I, despite what my ego desires, I'm not the only person to notice this. Night Dive Studios, well-known retro game necromancers, have decided that the game needs a remake. Or, as they are rather annoyingly calling it, a remaster. And wouldn't you know it, there's a demo available. Let's jump in. Alright, I won't lie, I'm pissed off. Some of you will remember that System Shock 1 had an incredible intro sequence that looked like this. 7 April 2072. Yeah, it was potentially the campiest thing ever made, but my god it was great. I mean, just look at that t-shirt. Oh. So instead of this wall of text, I'll summarize the game's setup for you. That's far more interesting. You are a hacker boy. You get caught by police, bad weird man makes you do weird things to robot lady, robot lady goes crazy, you're in space. Like, yeah, the wall of text works, but I do sincerely hope they add a full intro sequence in the full game, but I do get the impression that they're on some kind of decamping crusade, which I'll elaborate on later. But for now, when you get into the game, the first thing that's gonna grab your attention is this exceptionally sleek interface. It's very legible. You know, you've got your health, and your your blue, and your numbers, and you know what, it probably won't grab your attention, because it's just kind of fine. Hell, it's good, better than many others in fact, but I can't help but miss the anarchic madness that was the original's interface. Again, this one's very good, but where are my rear view mirrors and inventory spreadsheets? Anyway, I can't go much further without talking about this game's aesthetic which is really something special because it manages to fit in pretty well with the contemporary visuals of other sci-fi games, while maintaining a tasteful amount of the 90s cyberpunk look of its predecessor with extremely vivid colours, inane high-tech gubbins and even some wonderful flashy lights. My god, I love flashy lights. And genuinely, the visuals are my favourite part of this demo. It's still absolutely System Shock while not being vertigo-inducing to contemporary audiences. Ultimately, I still prefer the anarchic madness of the original, but this is a largely welcome change. Now, the visuals are distinct in one way, but the music is distinct in a whole other way. In that, it actually isn't. So, let me set you up with a scenario. Your character, he's been in cryosleep. He wakes up on a space station, there's mutants, people are dead, there's scary robots, there's a creepy AI talking to him, it's very atmospheric, it's very weird, and the music... well, the music represents that pretty well. But I mean, come on, this is System Shock, I expect to be bashing the mutated husks of previously innocent lives while my headphones blast... <laughs> Or, you know, I want to be hunted by some cyborg ninjas while being serenaded by the dulcet tones of an industrial safety video. But instead, we get this. Oh, I'm sorry game, I was expecting less space horror and more pinball champion. Now, I know I keep bringing up the original, but that's because it had such a strong and weird and brilliant identity, and the remake is kind of moving away from that. Oh, sorry, sorry, it's not a remake, allegedly, it's a remaster, allegedly. Actually, uh, fuck that, I'm about to learn y'all something. I have no idea why there is any confusion about the words remaster, remake, reboot, and reimagining in the video game sphere. All other entertainment gets it right. Goddamn gamers, we're all going to hell. 
Anyway, let's look at movies, why don't we? So last year, I saw Apocalypse Now Final Cut. Now, the original Apocalypse Now came out in 1979, and while the film has aged well, you can definitely tell that it's from the 1970s. The final cut, however, got the original film reels, rescanned them in 4K, and was then given a slightly different edit to add more scenes and slightly change the tone. This is an absolute textbook remaster. It had visual and oral improvements, and it added in some previously deleted scenes. Is it still the same movie? Yes. It's just been remastered, much like many video games are when a new console generation comes out. Goddamn gamers, man. I, I hate them. The 1998 movie Psycho, starring... starring Vince Vaughn? What the fuck? Is an abomination. It's also a remake of the original 1960 movie. It was completely refilmed, or should I say... I, I don't have a face cam, but if I did, I'd be staring at the camera right now. It was completely remade. It's not hard, goddammit. Now this translates to games when a game is... Get this... Remade. Do you understand, System Shock Remastered? I will hold open the mighty jaws of Lucifer myself simply to ensure that we all bathe in the fiery depths of Hades. Goddamn gamers, I can't stand them. A reboot and a reimagining, however, are... Uh, you know what, you fucking figure it out. Anyway, I have absolutely excellent news, truly wonderful information. Of all the things to keep from the original System Shock, do you know what they kept? They kept the goddamn cursed voice acting. Now, I'm not talking about Shodan. Shodan's always been great. I mean the other characters. Just look at this. We're finished. Keith and the others went down the access corridor an hour ago to fight the mutants. None of them have come back. <laughs> now that's just... And I wrote this in the script. Chef kiss. It's fantastic. It's so out of place. It's like I'm playing the original again. I do have a slight feeling that they may do some re-recording at some point. And hey, Night Dive, if you're watching this, I will happily record all of David Honig's lines for you because goddamn, listen to him. I must be one of the last ones who hasn't changed. Shodan must have altered the healing machine. I installed an alpha quadrant. It does things to people now. Yeah, you really sound like all your friends just died. Now, I know that this short look at the demo might make it sound like I didn't enjoy it very much, but that's not right at all. It was great. I was captivated the whole time, and it did genuinely feel like a faithful remake of the original System Shock. Or, at least, the first level of it. But the reason I've been pointing out the differences is because I don't want anyone to think that this remake will in any way replace the original. This one is definitely more accessible, it's absolutely scarier, it's more technically impressive, and it will never achieve the charm of the original. That's not a bad thing, I wouldn't want or expect it to. Now, I do believe I know why this remake is being made. I think it's because there's System Shock 3 on the way, and naturally they'd want the first two games to be somewhat consistent. Because honestly, at the moment, System Shock 1 and System Shock 2 are very different games. This remake kind of bridges the gap. And you know what, even if the majority of players will view the original System Shock as this strange red-headed stepchild of the series, I don't mind. Because to me, it will never be replaced. It's easy to look back at earlier works and cringe at their awkwardness and mistakes, or laugh at their unsuccessful ideas, but to me, those perceived issues are charming. And just because we can go back and do things better now, doesn't mean we have to. It's easy to forget that those awkward, clunky, nervous beginnings sometimes lead to something wonderful. Thanks for watching.